Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and let's talk about ultimate use in Overwatch. This is possibly the most critical thing in the game. This will win you games and this will also lose you games. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is some key concepts as to how to use your ultimates and has, as to how to sort of keep track of enemy ultimates as well. So the first thing we're going to start with is, well, quite simply this. You need to track enemy ultimates. Now the way to do this is, well, by using your own ultimate. So let's say I'm playing Xarya and I've got my ulti at 80% charge. But our team have lost the first two engagements. So maybe we were pushing on Gibraltar and we've been wiped out twice. But I've got 80% charge. That probably means if there is an enemy Zarya, she's going to have her Graviton Surge available. So what I'm going to say to my team is, guys, they've probably got their Grav or something like that. Or their Zarya ult is probably ready. What that should mean to the team is don't clump together because we're going to get hit with Graviton Surge. You really don't want to do that. And obviously you want to try and... Um, negate the effect of an enemy ultimate and sort of knowing when they're available is most of the game with overwatch because yeah you've got the tactics you've got the placement of your team you've got the the raw skill the raw mechanical aim and all of that stuff but a lot of that can be just completely wiped out if you get hit with the graviton surge and hanzo fires his ultimate through it and everyone's dead um then you it doesn't matter if you're the best players in the world you're dead and the only reason you've died to that is because you were not aware that zarya's ultimate was available and it's your zarya's job on your team to pretty much say yeah their ultimate's going to be available after you you play a lot of games of overwatch you will get used to sort of you feel it you get the feeling of like yeah they've probably got this ult available they've probably got mercy's res they've probably got zenyatta's ult they've probably got earth shatter or something like that so you do get used to it but still whatever hero you're playing try and at least communicate to your team when you believe the enemy has their ultimate available now also you need to communicate to the team when your ultimate is available there is a shortcut for this and it will pop up in the chat and it will say when your ultimate is available like it'll give you the percentage read out to your team so hey my graviton surge is 50 percent charge and when it's ready it will obviously graviton surge is ready will come through the chat and that's what you want because then what that's telling the team is guys i'm looking to grab them and we're going to kill them so i just want to keep on graviton surge for a second because what i want to talk about now is how to actually use the ultimates and to make them effective the worst thing in the game this is the worst thing ever is when i see a zarya fire her graviton surge as, as the whole team is dead, it's a panic ulti, she fires it in, and I don't know what she's trying to achieve, because really it's just a crowd control ulti. Sure, if zarya has got 100% charge, and she grabs people together, she can probably do quite a lot of damage to them, but if your whole team is dead, and you've just fired off your ultimate as some sort of last ditch attempt to kill them, it's not going to work, and you've lost that ultimate for the next fight, which is devastating to the team like really really devastating because remember what i said guys overwatch is the game of ultimates you need to keep in sync with your ultimates you also need to be aware of when enemy ultimates are going to be used and then you need to combo and use your ultimates correctly so talking on the combo issue again let's stay on graviton surge so if i've got a graviton surge available and there is a tracer on my team and she's got pulse bomb ready tracer can recharge pulse bomb really really quick she can do damage she can get it up <laughs> um, do, but Zarya, she can't, right? It takes a long time for Zarya's ulti to come up. Unless Zarya gets supercharged and she's killing everybody. In which case, she can get hers pretty quick. What you would be looking to do in that situation is a very simple combo. You'd be looking to Graviton Surge them and Pulse Bomb them. That's going to do a ton of damage. Like an absolute ton of damage. But it depends on the Zarya player getting a good Graviton Surge. Where you want to pull multiple people together. Problem with this is... If you pull in like a support, like a Lucio, and he pops his sound barrier, or even a, um, a Zenyatta to some extent, they're going to negate the damage that you're going to actually be able to cause. Which, I think, well, it wouldn't really negate the damage of the Pulse Bomb, I don't think, but it would negate the uh, a, a Lucio sound barrier would cause an issue if that went off as a Pulse Bomb went off. So you're going to use two ultimates for one. And this is the whole idea of ultimates as currency. You need to be spending less ultimates than the enemy team during fights, but winning the fights. If you do that, you will win Overwatch. You just you just win. You will absolutely win. I'm sure we've all been in games where you get snowballed, where you're you're they've they always seem to have ultimates available. They're just killing your team every time you you engage. They're using their ultimates like fantastically well. Maybe they graviton surge and Roadhog comes out and he blows you away. Maybe there's like um, as we graviton surge them and then pulse bomb them and then like Hanzo them and all of that stuff. They use Sound Barrier and uh, Zenyatta and then suddenly they've used two but we've used three and we've got no offensive ultimates left but they have. Then they graviton surge us back. Maybe they earth shatter us. In fact, talking about countering um, 
ultimates, a really, really strong counter is if you're playing Reinhardt and you get Graviton surged, is to just immediately Earth Shatter because you will crowd control the enemy team as they're crowd controlling you. But Earth Shatter is much easier to charge than Graviton surge. So you will have an Earth Shatter again before the Graviton surge is up almost all of the time. Again, this comes back to the whole thing of using. Um, ultimates currency because you need to spend less than the enemy and make sure you win the fights and then you will ultimately win the game now there are some cases where there might be a crazy ult that goes off you might have a mccree that sneaks around the side gets a quintuple kill or something stupid there's nothing you can really do about that and, and you know that's fine those things are going to happen but when it comes down to full-on team engagements just make sure that you're comboing your ultis correctly because this will win you the games let's talk about reinhardt again for a second so i've been playing quite a lot of reinhardt recently and if you land an Earth Shatter, you can pretty much devastate the team, but you need backup. You can't just Earth Shatter and then run in and try and do damage. That's just not going to work. You also want to be looking to Earth Shatter in places where you can catch most of the team. So if you are playing on Gibraltar and the payload goes under the bridge and comes up towards the first checkpoint, there would be an ideal place to Earth Shatter them because a lot of your DPS can fire down onto them and that's going to be great. What you don't want to be doing is Earth Shattering them under the bridge where your DPS can't necessarily get to them. So they're just going to stand back up and it's going to be a waste of an ultimate. And then again, think about the whole idea of using it defensively. Whereas if we're, we're going to get Graviton Surge, then Earth Shatter. Don't go too crazy and just waste it on certain things. This again comes into uh, support ultimate use. Now at the moment, you will see a lot of Lucio and Zen. You will also see Mercy as well. Mercy's ultimate is a little bit different because you kind of want that saved in case your entire team's going to get wiped out. Sometimes, though, it, it makes sense for Mercy to just res one person if the fight is... Like, maybe you lose a Reinhardt at the start of the fight. If Mercy instantly reses the Reinhardt, that can actually win the fight instead of waiting for everybody else to die, which also can have an effect. So if we talk about Lucio and Zenyatta, they both have arguably the same ultimate it, i know it's not but arguably it does the same thing it's a support defensive ultimate that cancels out other ultimates you will see zenyatta or if you are playing zenyatta you should be ulting when genji ults your team because genji can't do anything and zenyatta can get his ulti up fairly quick as well it doesn't really take too much time lucio's i think takes a little bit longer to charge so what you'd be looking to do if genji ulted you and you're playing uh, zenyatta pop your ultimate straight away if you get caught in Graviton Surge, Lucio will drop the beat straight away because you know there's going to be a follow-up. And most of the follow-ups Lucio can absorb with drop the beat. And that's, again, the sort of thing that you want to do. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this video at that. This has been sort of like an introduction to the idea of how to use your ultimates and where we can sort of go from there. What I want you guys to do is leave a comment below for things like ultimate combos and ways you keep track of your ultimate enemy ultimates and just ways ultimates have won games for you. I'm going to probably produce a more detailed guide in the future which will show absolutely every single combo, things that you should be looking out for. As I said, like I've given basic things in this, like you know Graviton Surge, Pulse Bomb, a very simple combo. Always be looking to do that. If you're caught in a Graviton Surge and you're Lucio, drop the beat immediately because you know they're going to follow up with something or at least try to follow up with something. Genji's ulting your team and you're playing Zenyatta, immediately ulti because you're going to negate the damage damage that he's going to do to your team and your team will absolutely love you for it mercy if somebody dies immediately in a fight maybe it's an integral character like a reinhardt or somebody like that could be worth resing them instead of actually waiting for the whole team to die and then resing everybody back but that could still actually work all right guys i'm gonna leave it at that i've been stylosa this is unit lost if you enjoyed the video then subscribe to the channel you can follow me on twitter which is at unit lost gaming and i will catch you next time guys toodaloo